Shalom, everybody. So what should a person do after they have converted? How should they continue on their path of Torah observance? The number one thing you want to do is to make sure you don't miss the forest for the trees. That's the greatest stumbling block that people uh, who become more observant of any religion tend to do. They get lost in the minutia and forget the main goal. And this is really a major part of the purpose of prayer, is to realign our thoughts and our priorities. So we should not forget that uh, all of the rituals we do and all of our holidays, it's ultimately to express the love of God and bring the love of God into this world by loving other people and drawing people together. Uh, beyond that, you want to allot a certain amount of time a day to studying Torah. So let's say uh, you have an hour a day that you devote to studying Torah, which I think is feasible for most people. So then you could divide that roughly into three parts. So 20 minutes to reciting the Torah, learning to read the Torah in Hebrew. Um, it doesn't all have to be in Hebrew, but you want to try to develop a knowledge of the underlying language. You can also fulfill it by reading other parts of Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. Um, and the second part you can fulfill by learning Mishneh Torah. The second part has to do with learning Halakha, practical application of Jewish law. So the best way of doing that, uh, especially as a newcomer, is to familiarize yourself with Mishneh Torah. That is the Rambam's codification of all the major topics of Jewish law that are covered in the Talmud. So it's basically like a summary of the Talmud. I would strongly recommend that the, that they first learn Hilchot De'ot, the laws regarding character traits and how to treat other people. Um, it shouldn't take too long to do that. They could also divide this 20-minute segment into two 10-minute segments so that 10 minutes they'll spend on Hilchot De'ot, the laws of character traits, and the other 10 minutes they can spend reading the laws of prayer, the laws of Shabbat. And it goes without saying that they should also, uh, at least once a week, be meeting with like-minded people, whether online or in person, to learn together with their community. And now the third part uh, of daily Torah study is what is called Talmud Torah, that is Torah study. But it doesn't just, uh, it doesn't just refer to Torah study in general, but rather it refers to the elucidation of Halakha and the mitzvot, how we get from point A to point B, how the halachot are derived logically, rationally, and how they apply in different scenarios. And that you can fulfill uh, by learning Gemara online. You can find the Gemara online in English, or you can fulfill that by uh, looking at different commentaries on the Mishnah or Midrash. Uh, but really the ideal way is to combine looking at these different sources and also use your intellect, whether by yourself or with other people if you can, to uh, to extrapolate how these uh, halachot that we learn apply in new scenarios that are relevant to ourselves and to our community. Uh, so basically that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding uh, this topic, let me know anywhere down below. God bless and Shalom. May He grant you peace. Shalom uvrocha.